very well. So R is bounded between 0 and 1, and theta is bounded between 0 and 2 pi. This integral is double integral of, well, what is the function? Well, in this case, when you are dealing with your function, here you have your uh, surface, 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So this is like this. This is your surface on top, and from bottom, it stops here. This is z equal to 0, and this guy is z equals to 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So this is the ceiling that you have. So you get 1 minus x squared minus y squared r dr d theta. r is bounded between 0 and 1. Theta is bounded between 0 to 2 pi. And here we have, OK, this is equal to 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 1, 1 minus r squared cosine squared theta minus r squared sine squared theta r dr d theta. Well, here if you factor out r squared, you get sine squared plus cosine squared, which is 1. So this guy is equal to the integral 0 to 2 pi, integral 0 to 1, 1 minus r squared, then you have r dr d theta. Well, you can distribute r into parentheses, you get 0 to 2 pi and 0 to 1 r minus r cubed dr d theta, which is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. This guy is equal to a half r squared minus a fourth r to the four, and r is between 0 to 1 d theta. So this is equal to the integral 0 to 2 pi. If I plug in 1, we get a half minus a fourth d theta. Well, if you simplify that, uh, you get 4, 2 divided by 4, you get a 4 times 2 pi or pi over 2. 